In today's video, we will be quite adventurous and discuss what would happen if the Earth had rings. The solar system has multiple planets, of which each of them have unique characteristics that distinguish them. Technically, we know it is a fact that Saturn is the planet with the ring that loops around it. However, have you ever imagined a scenario where the Earth had rings and wondered what exactly it would be like? Most scientists believe that over 7 billion years ago, the Earth once had a ring. They hold the assumption that the ring on Earth appeared much earlier in the formation of the Earth's moon. It's also identified that a planet known as Theja collided with planet Earth in the distant past. Because of this collision, there was a great explosion of debris that rocketed into Earth's orbit. The matter gradually interfused and formed a ring, which in due course became the moon that we see in the sky every day. In the event that this unified ring of matter had subsisted within the Roche limit, that is, the minimum distance to which a large satellite is able to seamlessly approach its primary body without disintegrating due to tidal forces, then maybe the Earth would have continued to have a ring, and we wouldn't have a moon to look at every evening. The Roche limit, rather known as the Roche radius, is a concept that was discovered by a French mathematician known as Edouard Roche in 1848. The whole idea was that a celestial body's gravitational pull on a moon is unequal. To explain this further, a larger planet would exert a greater gravitational pull towards the side of the moon that is closer to it, and lesser gravitational force on the side that is distant from it. In this case, if the ring of debris would have actually existed within the Roche radius, then it would be able to hold itself together in entirety by its own gravity. Well, if Earth's rings was still intact, or maybe if new rings were formed after the first one dismantled, then the views of the rings from Earth would deviate. The way through which you would view different cities would entirely depend on the direction you are facing and your latitude. The rings would somehow be parallel to the equator and would be easily visible in the sky horizontally, that is, from an east to west bearing. Towards the equator, the rings would seem like very thin slices of light that look as though they have erupted from distant Earth's horizons and sprawled into the sky as far as your eye can see. When further away from the equator, the appearance of the rings entirely changes. In this case, the rings may seem much wider and a lot more visible. They would also appear to be close to the horizon. In the same manner that the moon reflects sunlight back to the Earth when it is dark outside and has a glowing effect in the sky. So would the same thing happen with the rings around the Earth. The only difference would be that the rings would reflect so much more light to an extent that Earth would never plunge into darkness. We would always notice a twilight in the depth of the night. The day would probably be even brighter than it already is. How about that? In conclusion, we can deduce that if the Earth had rings, cities that are far from the equator, such as New York, would have a very impressive angled view while cities that are much closer to the equator, such as Indonesia and Jakarta, would see the ring around the Earth as a straight line across the sky. Don't you think the same? Let me know in the comment section below. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to my channels for more adventurous videos.